Hello, my name is Master Chris Blight from Brisbane Taekwondo Centre and this session is about face block, Ogo Maki. So with this one, as I think I've said before, the preparation point is crucial. So the preparation point for this one, if I step forward with my left foot, so I start off in Chumbi stance, if I step forward with my left foot, my left hand goes to my right hip here and my right hand goes to my shoulder with the thumb side of my hand against my shoulder. Being careful not to lift too far around this way because your elbow lifts. So it's just comfortable here with your elbow sitting here nice and close and from here this one pulls back as this one comes across your body and up over your face to here. Now being quite clear that it's only one fist away from your forehead. So it's not up here, not over here, but here. So it covers your head and is not too far away from your head. And as I come forward, this one drops back to my shoulder and this other one comes across to my hip and I step forward from here and as soon as I stop moving, the hands automatically come up to here. I'll just do that from the side. So if I'm here with this one, remembering this distance in the, in the uh, gap between your hand and your head, remembering when you're looking forward, you can just see your toes, the back leg is straight, two foot lengths between your front foot and your, the toes of your back foot, and one foot width in your stance. So from here, we're coming back into here, stepping across to here as you're coming forward, and block. Remembering this gap in here. And one more, we come forward and there. Again, remembering this gap in here. Don't make it too big. And again, check your stance. When you're practicing these, always check your stance. It's crucial. And that is overhead block or ogomaki in forward stance or long stance or up gubi. Thank you.